Hi, this is Matt Hillebrand with Don's Appliances, joined again by Chef Anthony, our executive chef. And we're just going to continue on with uh, uh, what we had talked about in our prior segment in terms of outdoor kitchens, design, products. So now we're going to actually dive into some products that we offer that will fit that outdoor kitchen. Yeah, kind of give you the arsenal of you know the, the ones we carry, the ones we like, and the, the ones we stand by in service as well. So, you know, uh, the DCS brand, another great brand for us is, you know, DCS and Wolf kind of go hand in hand in my book. It's, you know, some of the better ones for, you know, the heating and the infrared and just the amount of options and, you know, great sizing. I mean, what are our sizes on these guys too, Matt? 30, 36, 48. Uh, Wolf offers, you know, similar type sizes. Uh, we've got XO that offers a 42. Mm -hmm. um, Wolf actually offers a 42. So there, there's different options available. But when you're looking at, let's say, a higher end grill, right? Mm -hmm. When you look at a DCS, a Wolf, an XO, what you're looking at is you're looking at much, much higher BTU burners, right? Mm -hmm. So a standard grill, whether it be kind, you know, a kind that, that you may get at, at one of the, the box stores, um, those are very low output burners. Mm -hmm. When you step up into a higher end brand, what you're getting is you're getting a longer warranty, you're getting better stainless steel, mm -hmm. which is 304 stainless, versus something that's gonna be a much, much less qual quality stainless and actually can rust. Mm -hmm. So the higher Especially the quality. Especially in this area too. You know, we, yep. get, we, we have, you know, colds and hots and, you know, heat expands, you know, contracts, all that plays a factor into like, into the grill itself too. Yes. You know what I mean? The better quality, you know, really makes a difference. Yeah, and the burners, right? The burners mm -hmm. are the big thing, right? 25,000 BTU burners on our higher end grills versus 9,000, six to nine on some of our entry mm -hmm. level or standard grills. For some people, that's perfect. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's like an automobile, right? Mm -hmm. It's, do you want something that goes really, really fast or just something to get yeah. you from here to there? Do you want it supercharged or do you want, you know, and yep. that depends on your cooking style too. You know what I mean? If you've got a ton of people to cook for, you want to sear those steaks, you want to make those burgers, cook those dogs, you don't want to play round and grill all day, you want to enjoy it, you know what I mean? You need the higher heat to get the better sear, to get those, you know, food network looking uh, dishes. You know, yes. I always say, you want it to look like TV, you know what I mean? That's what these guys are cooking. Yep, you know? and we've got different price points mm -hmm. on the outdoor built-in. You know, we've got good, better, and best, mm -hmm. right? Good would be a, a good quality grill would be our Coyote lineup mm -hmm. uh, and XO. Better would be XO as well as DCS. Sure. And then best on the built-in would be our Wolf. Yeah, I mean, so, I mean, we do offer those, those different segments. Mm -hmm. And we also have those different segments for freestanding grills, right? Exactly. Our Napoleon and our Weber grills. You know, which come in really strong, really hot grills. They have, you know, like we talked about the Napoleon with the lighting, with the extra accessories. It has really, you know, a sear zone on the side. If you want that sear zone on the left, that infrared is something we always like to talk about because it's a, a feature that's really been around, but they, some people really don't understand the ceramic and, and um, infrared and how high you can get those and get that really good sear on something, you know, without really having to, you know, put it back on the things. You don't have to sear it the whole time. You can move it to the other burners to carry over the cooking, which really makes it more efficient. Yeah, so I mean, you know, we, we do offer various items for various people, but what's really cool, and we just started really diving into it because everybody's into it now, mm -hmm. are the outdoor pizza ovens, right? Oh. So, so we've got the Alpha Outdoor Pizza Oven, which Near is... Near and dear to my heart, man. It, this it's, thing's... Go ahead. I mean, this thing, it's sweet. I mean, the, the biggest one, you can fit four pizzas in. They have a smaller one, but I mean, everybody says pizza oven, pizza oven. It, it takes forever to heat up. These ones, these wood ones, you know, with the wick lighter and the igniter and the dry wood, it took me 15 minutes to get this pizza oven up to 850 degrees. I mean, my mind was blown. I mean, I just, I couldn't make dough fast enough and I couldn't put it in there. I mean, I beat my 90 second timer. I was like 60 seconds, 58 seconds, stopwatched a full large pizza. Like, it, it was just blew my mind. So we have videos though. We have videos of us using the Alpha Pizza, right? Uh, YouTube, 
on our Don's website. I mean, there's there's a ton of content of us using different aspects of the pizza, not just for pizza. You know, I mean, we did cast iron steaks, we did wings. You know, we're thinking about you know your whole um, your whole day. What you're gonna do? You're not just gonna make pizzas. You want to make breads. You know, you want to bake some pasta al forno style. I mean, I'm giving you all the options when you turn this guy on to say I can make you know lunch pizzas. I can make you know dinner pasta. I can do steaks in a cast iron. I can do wings. You know, it's just not for just pizzas. So, so this is something that that I'm actually dealing with now, right? I just finished an outdoor area. I have a grill, I have a refrigerator. I'm actually considering adding one of these pizza ovens. And I, I've got kids of uh, high school, middle school, that I want people to entertain at our house, mm -hmm. right? So, so my thought pattern with a pizza oven, I think all my kids' friends will want to come to our house to make pizzas. Mm -hmm. I think it'd be fun to make pizzas. I think that, that it would be fun for my wife and I to have our friends over to help make pizzas. Yeah. <laughs> I just think all in all, it, a, a pizza oven is, is not just a appliance just to make pizzas, but I think it's, it's, a, it's an appliance to, to really formulate a gathering. You're right. I mean, formulated gathering and individuality. You know what I mean? Every time, I don't eat this on my pizza, I don't eat this on my pizza. Now, make your own pizza. Have some fun. And then I hate to say, you know, we're teaching everybody how to make a pizza, and you really get the get the gist behind it. And truthfully, I, I know, you know, everything costs money. The Alpha has a price tag, but I mean, the cost of the pizzas are minimal once you talk about it. I mean, it almost talks about, you know, jumping back to food preservation with, uh, you know, the bigger built-ins and, you know, how much you're saving money on food. Now you're saving money, you know, buying your large pizza. We want you to support everybody, but, you know, now you're making a custom pizza, you know, for yourself and things like that. Well, so, who's to know? say you can't go to your favorite pizza shop and the get dough. their... Get yeah, the kit, yeah. The everybody's got takeout kits, right? <laughs> so, I mean, you can go to your local pizza shop, you can get that takeout dough, you can get the sauce, you can get the cheese. I got one more thing. I wanted to backtrack about grills, talk about natural gas grills, the difference between grills. I know we're hopping back. I know we're hopping back. I, I really, this is a good point that I know you would get across to them about the difference in, you know, propane versus uh, well, yeah. the, you know, natural gas is obviously a lot easier, right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, all you have to do is turn on a valve that's that's running from your house. Boom, you've got instant, you know, instant gas going to your grill. Propane bottles, they're nice because they're convenient and portable, mm -hmm. right? So if you don't have access to a natural gas line, you've got the propane bottle, but you always seem to have to have a, a spare on hand mm -hmm. because inevitably you're right in the middle of of grilling for a whole group of people, and boom, you forgot to make sure the propane bottle was full, mm. you run out of propane, so you always wanna have a backup bottle And for when that. you're ordering your grill, you know what I mean, it has to, you have to really specify which one you want. And then, then you do, you do, over. because most grills uh, are not convertible anymore. We used to be able to convert from natural gas to propane, from propane to natural gas, so there's, a, there's very few grills that are convertible anymore. Most of them are our higher end grills like mm -hmm. XO, um, DCS. Um, so m most of those units are, are going to be able to be converted, but our standard grills aren't. Yeah, so great point. Uh, yeah. But if you want to learn more about outdoor grills, pizza ovens, visit any of our Pittsburgh area showrooms, yeah. our Erie showroom under check Dugan's. Out, yeah, check out the YouTube channel, check out all of our fantastic Go to donsappliances.com and thank you for listening. All right.